Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm starting a new road trip from Las Cruces, New Mexico to Flagstaff, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few interesting things I find along the way. The first thing I want to show you is a thing called the Recycled Roadrunner Sculpture, which you can see right behind me. And it's at a rest stop up on a hill just right out of Las Cruces. But it's on the rest stop heading eastbound. And by the way, according to this sign, you are allowed to overnight park at this rest stop. And here is the Roadrunner. From the distance, it looks like a pretty good sculpture of a Roadrunner. But when you get up close, <laughs> it shows you a completely different picture. His eye looks like the headlight from a car. And it's all made of recycled parts. Mostly electronic parts. There is a film reel. And down here we have a computer keyboard and a stereo audio deck, telephone, Samsung, all sorts of electronic equipment, and then we got some crutches. <laughs> How about that? Here's a snow ski that somebody wore out. And over here is a train. <laughs> All sorts of things in there. And the light colored pieces, like on the belly, are all shoes. All various shoes make up his underside and the legs and the feet are made from tires recycled tires and this is the other side of him looking down on interstate 10 and you also get a good view a far off high view of the city of Las Cruces there's some kind of motorcycle there, another computer keyboard. <laughs> I bet you've never seen a sculpture like this before. You can see him very clearly driving along the highway, but unless you get up close, you would have no idea <laughs> what it's made of. Nice. And he's perched up on a big rock here. Nice. I was just driving down the street in Las Cruces, Mexico, and I noticed this sign on the road here that says Big Chili Inn. And I thought, well, that's kind of a strange name for a motel. And then I didn't see why they named it the Big Chili Inn. I'd say that definitely is a Big Chili. New Mexico is famous for their red chilies that they grow here. So I guess that is signifying that and gave them a good name for the motel. How about that? So now I'd like to tell you what I did yesterday. After leaving Las Cruces, New Mexico, I went to Deming, New Mexico, just a little ways west of there. And I went to a museum in Deming, which is a nice big museum that had some pretty amazing displays. Excellent museum, and I did a completely separate video of that museum. So watch for my next video being posted from that museum. I think you'll really like that. And then from Deming, I went north and stopped at the City of Rocks State Park and I spent just a couple hours there 
and did another video, a separate video, of the City of Rocks State Park. So that'll be the second new video coming up. And then from there I drove northwest up into the mountains and found a cool 8,000 foot elevation place to spend the night on the road. And then this morning I've driven to Cholo, Arizona. And Cholo has a very interesting history, especially regarding its name, the name Cholo for the town. And right now I'm at the Cholo Historical Society Museum. And I'm going to go in and find out about that history, and especially regarding the name, how they came up with the name Cholo. Well, folks, <laughs> cancel that. I've been waiting here for a while. I decided to look on their door. Today is Tuesday, and I am not going to sit here for 24 hours. <laughs> so, I guess I'll have to resort to looking up Sholo on the internet. But I know it does have something to do with a card game where, you know, if a show low or show high is the winner or the loser. I know it has something to do with that. So, <laughs> this is the only thing in show low that I found that I wanted to see. It's a shame. Well, maybe next time I'm in this, in this area. So, I'm going to take off now and I'm headed to Flagstaff. To see what they've got over there that's interesting. I wonder what those two buildings are. I'm just off of Interstate 40, a few miles west of the city of Holbrook, and I saw a billboard that said this place had the world's largest petrified tree, which is that right there. And it looks about, I'd say, 12 feet high. And look at all these gigantic pieces of petrified wood laying down beside it. This is a store, sort of a curio shop with mostly, I think, Indian related things to buy. These teepees, I think, were not made of really good material. You can see here, it's really coming apart and let's see what's inside absolutely nothing I'm gonna go in it the only thing in here is graffiti <laughs> and dirt and this obviously is just made of plywood and then two befores and for what purpose? I have no idea. <laughs> what could they possibly use them for? Okay, I gotta go behind this fence and check out these two things here. This looks like a truck camper. And this looks like a super snowmobile that has really seen better days. This is just kind of like a junkyard, I think. Well, I guess it's called Kip's Stuff. And what is this? Is that an Indian with a watermelon? <laughs> and wonder what's in here that's so valuable they have to keep it padlocked. <laughs> No, I don't think these are Indians. Looks more like space aliens. Well, I'm going to go into the store and see if there's anything I want to buy. Well, right inside the store, they have, it's like a chair, some really nice polished off petrified wood. <laughs> and those things, whatever they are, Look at this gigantic piece here. I'd like to take that with me. 
here's the price tag. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I had a home, I think I would. A regular landed home. Well, they have a lot of nice stuff in here that I would like to have if I had a place to put it. I like this. Complaint department. <laughs> well, folks, here I am standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Quite a sight to see. standing right on the edge of the meteor crater and this is as wide of a view as I can get there's a viewing level further down and one up there and another viewing level higher up that I'm also going to go to so I'm going to zoom in to the center of it there there used to be buildings, some small buildings, and some equipment, I think, generators down there. I was last here in about 1972 when they had that equipment and some small buildings down there. Now they got everything pretty much cleaned out. Actually, there still is a couple identifiable things down there one is called the winch and boiler which I think is the equipment that I remembered see if I can zoom in and this main shaft is right here in the middle it has a grid around it that's what they call the main shaft this is the highest viewpoint and the furthest away you can get to see it. Super duper windy up here. There's the visitor center museum and there's the parking lot. You can see my motorhome over there. It's one mile wide from rim to rim and it's about three miles around the perimeter and in the middle 550 feet deep this viewpoint where it had the pipes to look through is out over the edge a bit there you can see but I think to really appreciate the magnitude of it all you would have to fly over <laughs> in a plane or a helicopter or something. They have a pretty nice museum, but I was surprised that they do not have a 3D model of the crater. And here in the gift shop, they don't have any models for sale either. This is an aerial view on like a bag. And then they have a jigsaw puzzle of it so that's close as I could find that would give you a good picture of what it looks like from the air here's a mural they have on the wall they do give guided tours to walk around the rim which takes about an hour to walk around it 
but they do not give tours going down to the bottom. Well, I made it to Flagstaff, but I didn't find anything here that I wanted to video with the short period of time that I have here. So I'm at a Cracker Barrel restaurant, I'm gonna have lunch here, and then I'm taking off up north. I'm going to do a video drive-through of the Grand Canyon. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let me know what you think about my road trip video in the comments below. Good day, folks.